Recently, someone went to my local store and got me apple turnovers, and now I'm addicted to them. If you could get me some of those apple turnovers, I'll... I'll let you ride me. You heard me! At least to the store, then you can walk. But then I'd probably be in so much of an apple turnover haze that I wouldn't notice if you jumped on my back. Welcome back to Hydra Castle Labyrinth! Previously, I was looking for treasures, and I got some. Today, I'm looking for treasures, and I will find some. There's dings everywhere! I'm looking for the ding! The dings I do for dings. You see what I did there? Yeah, that was clever, wasn't it? This place is dangerous! There's fireballs! I don't like fireballs. Especially over lava. I don't like fireball lava. That's the worst kind of lava. Luckily, I have a projectile weapon. You try doing this with just a sword, I dare you. Yeah, you can't do it. Have a projectile weapon, please. It's, it's dangerous for you otherwise. Shield helps too, but it's all worth it for this. The wing boots! The wing boots allow us to double jump. You get a double jump. It's not necessary to complete the game with ju double jump. It just lets you get more treasures. Like right over here. Oh, hey! That happens. That indeed happens. What has happened? Uh, the game crashed. <laughs> if you're moving while the music is playing, it could crash on you. I'll be right back. Problem solved. If the game crashes or gets closed for any reason, it yips at you like uh, Mr. Rossetti. But you get to continue right where you left off. Let's not move while the music's changing this time. Stupid music and its crashingness. It's the gas mask! That's what I jumped for before the world imploded. It filters out poisonous gas. Gas clouds cannot poison me anymore. That's a good thing. And I might as well get this, it's right here. I have a save. It's the Silk Cape! That will protect us against paralysis. Every lightning enemy can shock you, but not with the Silk Cape. You're safe. And now we could head to dungeon number one. I got a shield, I got a projectile, I got double jump, I got a sword, I got some armor, and there might be a Hydra around here. I don't know. One thing I am missing out on, but I'm going to try and do without, is one particular projectile weapon in this game. I really like it, but it's very, very broken. In a good way. And I want to try and rough it in the first dungeon. Without using that item. Without depending on it. It's just me, Arrow, and Golden Axe versus the first dungeon. A double jump may be involved, too. I was going to mention before the game crashed that... The dungeons can be cleared without double jump. It's kind of tuned that way. Every single dungeon can be done without being able to double jump. Double jump lets you use shortcuts in dungeons, which is actually pretty cool. We'll see that once we get there. I'm pretty sure I know the way. I had to move the window after I recovered from the, the crash, so I can't see my map anymore. The game is covering my map. I am currently blind to the inner machinations of Hydra Castle Labyrinth. But it should be around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure I'm going in the right direction. There should be a big ladder nearby. Or maybe I'm lost. I'm lost in the labyrinth of Hydra Castle. The castle of Labyrinth Hydras? I'm trying to think of more permutations. The Hydra of Castle Labyrinth. No, wait, that's the name of this game. Darn it! What does Make You even mean, anyway? Alright, we took the long way, but I'm pretty sure I'm close by. There we go, this is the way to number one. We're here, finally! There's a ding, but... Uh, I don't want to go to an alcove for it. We'll get it later. We'll get it later, it's probably not that important anyway. Welcome to... Dodo's Den! That monster does not sound very intimidating. Not at all. But these are dungeons! They have different music than the overworld. It's pretty good. Even though the overworld music is pretty good too. There's several ways you could go in this dungeon. Let's try going this way, through bats. 
We just murder all of the bats. Why the heck not? Bats aren't people like you and me. They don't speak words. They go scree scree. And no one could tolerate that. Not for a decent amount of time, anyway. You could tolerate a little bit of scree. Only a little. Hey, we have a silver pick. Which means you could take a shortcut right through here. If we go over that way, we'd end up near Spikes. Oh, I don't have the item for this guy. These guys are immune to my attacks. Yet, I will get that item. But also here is a shortcut too. We can mess with the jumpy guys, but we could go this way. See, we would just take a ladder otherwise. We're good. I have the items for my success. Here you must have the copper pick though. There's no way around this. Because you need to destroy these blocks to continue. But this is not a very long dungeon. This is pretty much the how to not die dungeon. Learn how to not die in dungeons. See, there's spikes. They will kill you. In fact, if I have a weapon that attacks downward, I could destroy all these blocks too. Well, except for the ones that make the platforms, I think. But here he is! Dodo! He can use an earthquake ability that could stun you. We really didn't grab much stuff, so this guy actually could affect us. Just make sure you're in midair when he does his earthquake thing. I'm doing this pretty Spartan compared to how I played through the game the first time. I grabbed lots and lots of items. And also, I don't have my favorite projectile weapon, so let's just throw Golden Axe at him. You could call me Axe Battler, even though he never used an axe in the game. Oh hey! I can destroy those things! Excellent! Do not move. I don't want another crash today. You got the bat key! Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the wording in that. Anything else here? Any treasures? Was Dodo hiding something? No. Yep, that was the Dodo's den, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's go get that ding now. That ding was bothering me. That was dungeon number one. It was pretty quick. Pretty darn quick. The dungeons will get harder. Of course. That's the way the game is played. It's called Feature Creep. The Catfish Gem! That could have come in handy because it resists earthquakes. Hmm, I should have picked that up. Prevents you from being stunned when monsters are bouncing around like Dodo does. You know what? I don't want to do Dungeon 2 just yet. Let's just start looking for stuff. When we find a ding, let's go after it. I want everything now. I did a dungeon without having everything. I deserve everything now. I know there's some everything off in this direction. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's an everything in this room. There's an everything somewhere in this room. I don't know if it's in a wall. I don't think it's in a wall. Where is the everything? Where is the something? Do you have no something? Are you punking me, Chime? You better not punking me, Chime. You tell me there's something in this room and there's nothing in this room, we got problems. We got so many problems. There's indeed something in this room! The gold gem! The gold gem increases our item drop rate. More hearts and more ammo. And it's significantly more too, it's not like a 5% more chance. It's more like 50. 50 or 70%. Look at the items coming to us already! That's excellent! Is there any other items around here? I want to pillage this place for all it's worth. Heck, what a crown. I want other things. I'd look at my map, but I'm covering it right now. That's not a good thing. I have a feeling that that block up there has something for me. I'm sensing it. I don't remember hearing the ding ding. I was talking. No, there's no ding here. It's just a block. I think that was the, gold, the golden axe. I think that's what it was. But I think there's something up here. Indeed there is. It's the red scroll. Red scrolls hold the attack key for us. No, it means this. Did you see that? I do a charge up attack now. Fireballs collect around me. And then I could do something like a humming strike. It's going to look weird to you because the, the editor makes videos at 30 frames per second, like most editors do. 
and YouTube's gonna drop that down to 30 frames per second anyway. Let's get on that for a little bit. It really doesn't matter if YouTube is running at 60 or 30. Because if the editor doesn't run at 60 and doesn't make things at 60, then we got problems now, don't we? We, we still can't make 60 frames per second videos. It's just not happening. Now if they made editors or updated my editor so I can make 60 frames per second, I'd totally do it. I probably would. I know my recorder can record at 60, but I just can't make them at 60. It's kind of stupid if you think about it. Where is more treasure? Blob, do you know where treasure is? Hey, tell me about treasure. You can't speak. You, you can only speak in explosions. That doesn't help me at this moment. I don't speak explosions. I do speak in the terms of hearts and ammo, so that's helpful for me. I could have sworn there was a, an item around here somewhere. It's the projectile I'm looking for. It's gotta be around here. I must have it. I must! It's not in that room. That that leads to dungeon number... I think that's dungeon number two off in that direction. There's something there! There's... I think there's something over here. There's stuff now! I found stuff! Kill bats for stuff! What could this be? Oh, this is it! This is the boomerang! This is an excellent weapon. It's a sub-weapon, so I can't look at it. But look what it does! This is awesomer than it looks! It goes through walls, it hits multiple times, and it'll hit behind you when it's done. It's a great weapon! Do not diss this weapon. Link has nothing when it comes to boomerangs. This guy has it all. And now let's go check out what's up here. Up this way. I hear more dings! I think this is another ding that I could use. I'm on a ding frenzy right now, with my boomerangs. Boomerang! It moves with you! It's weird! That does not how boomerangs work. I'm not even looking at that treasure, I'm a badass. The power band! This allows us to climb ladders faster! With an exclamation point. It's so awesome. That means we can take these ladders really quickly. And get hit by red bats really quickly. We saw what it does. All right, you, ghosty, come over here. I have a word with you. That's my word. It's the blue scroll! Blue scroll lets us hurt those thw thwomp creatures now. That's exactly what it lets us do. They have as much stamina as a block with the copper pick. You can t hit them three times and they'll destroy themselves. It's great! Eh, might as well check out to see if this is indeed Dungeon 2 up here. And then next time... I'll look for some more treasures. Maybe we'll tackle Dungeon 2. I think it's a pretty short dungeon as well. Nope, that is not Dungeon 2. That must be Dungeon 3. Oh well, we'll find Dungeon 2 next time. Good night, folks.